Don Roberts, on your side for 30 years. When you say Don Roberts, the first thing that comes to mind is that he truly is the nicest, most gracious person I have ever met. Don Roberts' name is synonymous with giving back to the community all the time. Don Roberts is quite possibly one of the kindest, most genuine men you will ever meet in your whole entire life. Don is very, very, um, a very positive guy. He wants to make a positive contribution to the community. And that's one of the reasons I know for a fact he got into this business is because he loves people, he loves making positive change, and he loves to make sure people are informed with information they need to know. When I hear the name Don Roberts, uh, I mean, I think directly just of news and a really nice guy. Two things right off the bat. And uh, just, I've known him for a long time. Uh, he's a good friend and uh, I like working with him. I do know that whenever I worked with him, you would always have, it's like a, a continuous smile on your face, yeah. just because of the way that he was interacting with the people. He's just a joy to work with. He's, a, he's such a fun person, and we really enjoy spending time together. We are genuinely friends, both at work and outside of work, and I think that's why um, we shine through like that on the air. When I came to Wavy's morning show back in 2000, there had only been one change to the anchor staff, and it was already very popular, it was already killing it in the ratings, and it was like, don't come in and mess up this good thing that they've already got going. And Don was so welcoming. Don is great as a coworker. He is, uh, he's consistent. He is humble enough that even though he's worked here 30 years, he still works alongside me holidays. Even when I was here for only a year, you're at the bottom of the totem pole, so you know you're going to work them all. And to have someone work beside you that's been here for so long is, I think, really telling of his character. Our morning show has only known Don <laughs> for all of this time, and I would say um, that that just speaks volumes about him and his roots in this community. So Don exemplifies the idea that we have a choice over how we approach every person and every situation and every day. And he always chooses a positive approach. Don really has a way to connect with people. Whenever we go out on a shoot, if it was a Wednesday's child, there might be 10, 15, 20 children in the room. Don goes up to every one of them looks them in the eye, shakes her hand, asks them what their name is, and asks them how they're doing. And never does he turn anyone down. Hello to a thousand people, if it was a thousand people where we were. A lot of people obviously watch the Wednesday's child segments that Don would do. What many people wouldn't see though is when Don was at his desk, I often heard him talking to these families keeping in touch with them, continuing to offer his support and encouragement. So that was very personal to him. For about a year, I was, uh, I had a flare up of my multiple sclerosis and it impacted uh, my mobility. And when I needed to get around on the set, uh, we have some steps and Don helped me. You know, he would make sure I got to where I needed to go or if we were standing side by side, it was kind of hard for me to stand. And um, he would just kind of lean forward and I would kind of lean back and, he was sort of my balance, and I feel like that's, in a way, what he is to me on the morning show. He's my balance. Even now that I'm feeling good, my flare-up's done, he always gives me that balance that I need. February 14th and on Mother's Day, he will bring all the ladies in the newsroom a rose. And even if you're not there, he will leave it on your desk. And when you walk in, you know immediately who it's from. There's so many things to love about Don Roberts, but his voice can get you through a lot of things. You know, people turn to our newscast uh, for information, but also for comfort and just for fun. And when you hear Don's voice, you kind of just know, okay, everything's gonna be okay today. This is gonna be a good day. I remember covering a lot of storms with him, and especially like big snowstorms. The good thing is when I'd get finished doing the weather, he would always ask good questions. And I, you know, there were things I didn't think about doing the weather and he would ask me those questions and, and, and I think it really helped the viewers out because they had those same questions. And so uh, his inquisitive mind asking that and you know, his background, it really just uh, enhanced our shows. There are, so many, <laughs> there are so many things that Don says on the set. Um, and 
they're all, they all just kind of pick you up and keep you moving. We have four and a half hours of news, so you have to keep your energy up and just keep going. Um, so at 8.45 in the morning, when we are 15 minutes left in the newscast, Don will always say, we are coming down the home stretch. And everyone in the studio does it with him. <laughs> but he started it. And that's what really gets us going for those last 15 minutes of a four and a half hour show. Here's a classic Don Roberts. I would sip my coffee and I would say, man, that coffee's too hot. And Don would say, it's not that the coffee's too hot. It's just not as cool as you'd like it to be. But be patient, you'll get there. You know, to be honest with you, it's probably we're coming down the home stretch because it means we have 15 minutes left in the show and it's especially good to hear on Fridays. If you want to hear Don's distinct voice, then you should play softball with him because you'll hear, shake and bake, come on. He was great for uh, all those little lines. Yeah, Don always wears that bow tie on Tuesdays. It's awesome. Uh, that's his thing. That's his style. He looks good. Um, my favorite color of his, uh, maybe when he wears the red, white, and blue, sometimes that's a nice touch. Um, I thought about it maybe a time or two. Maybe one of these days I still will be a surprise. You have to be confident to wear a bow tie. You can't be messing with it. You just have to wear it or it wears you. That guy can wear a bow tie like no one else. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> so no bow tie Tuesday, but on my watch, the mustache went away and the round glasses went to rectangles. I was there for those milestones. <laughs> well, listen. Don Roberts has the best hair in the business, and he will tell you that. He will let you know that that one hair that he has is better than any hair that you would ever have on your head. So I'm, I'm jealous of what he has. <laughs> I am not jealous of Don's hair. I mean, except for the ease factor, I don't think that would be a good look for me. It's a perfect look for Don. What's not to be jealous of? He can just roll in and go on the set. There's no styling needed. Of course I'm jealous of his hair. Jealous of Don Roberts' hair. Well, uh, I can't say I'm jealous because I'm on my way. I'm probably going to be looking like Don, uh, at least in terms of the top here, in probably the next five to ten years. So I'm going to be getting tips from him on what to do, especially when it comes to sunscreen and, uh, and you know keeping it clean. The best memory I have of Don is too long of a story to tell in its entirety, but we pulled off a great prank against one of our former news directors that involved, you know, messing with an air check tape, and uh, it, was, it was great. He would know exactly what I meant when I say the prank. Don, you make everybody in our station and in the community feel like they are your friend. You have changed lives over the 30 years that you've been here, and the fact that I even get to be a small part of that is absolutely amazing. It's a true honor to get to sit next to you every day and to know you personally. Don, happy 30th anniversary from the bottom of my heart. I want you to know that the 12 years we spent together working as a team are the best here at Wavy. I tell everybody I'm growing old with Chris Reckling, but I really feel like I grew up with you. So thank you for all the work events and the life events that you were there for. And I can't tell you how much I love still seeing you in these hallways every day. I don't necessarily miss seeing you at four in the morning, but I'm so glad that I still get to see you around here at Wavy and I hope you have a wonderful anniversary. Don, thank you for doing what you do. Thank you for all of your contributions to both the Wavy community and the broader community. It is so refreshing to see someone so invested in the world around them. Congrats, Don, on 30 successful years. Uh, you know, it was great working with you. Everybody I talk to loves hearing from you, loves talking to you. And it's just been a real pleasure working alongside of you in this business uh, for as long as I have. Don, I just wanted to say that it's been a pleasure working with you over the years and looking forward to many more years to come. Congratulations, 30 years on the air, amazing. Congratulations, Don Roberts, on 30 years. Congratulations on 30 years, Don. Hey, Don, congratulations on 30 years. I know that you will blush when I say this, but you are an icon in this community and how lucky we all are to have had you in our lives for this long and for so much longer. We love you.